just go with the flow and pray afterwards for forgiveness. So I don't have to be gay to know that's good looking. I've got, I've got a six pack like that, it's just hiding. It's hiding behind the camera. We've all got a six pack, they're just some of them are shy. Alright, so, Whoa. have we, did we do ears, flared ears? No. Alright, so, this is fantastic. My wife's got flared ears and mine are more, more flat. So the flat ears is more submissive and flared ears is more assertive, more dominant. Uh, so, when you think of an elephant, okay, when, that, when that ear, the ears are flary. So, there's no right or wrong and there's nothing wrong with being uh, dominant or being assertive. Okay, they, those are beautiful traits and they get, get you far. So, but just have a look so that you know that. So if, you, if your husband's always going, or your girlfriend's always saying, oh, you're so dominant, you're so aggressive, and you've got the, the flared ears, and maybe you can go to meditation and go, there's just maybe a small chance he may have been right. Mm -hmm. okay, I know it's a strange concept, because we generally are wrong. Because uh, there's, there's a Zen saying, you know, just push some buttons here, there's a Zen saying, right? If a man walks into the middle of a forest and there's no one around and he says something, is he still wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I know the answer is yes. Alright, so I know that I've given you quite a bit here today and I've got some opportunities for you to take some stuff home. So this card here that I've printed, it's got very beautiful illustrations of all of the traits, almost uh, like there. That's 50 rand. Uh, in my book, sorry, I'm just going to rush up here quickly. Relationship mastery, it's got all of those as well. But this one goes into some self mastery, other mastery, and corporate mastery, and includes all of, of that. Those are normally 250, but for you lovely people, 150. All right? So if, if you enjoyed today and you'd love to support me, you know, just buy a book or two, and uh, that'll be very really awesome. I'd really love that. And I just want to highlight maybe help me to get that cover. Uh, very, very awesome, and get my book printed. You have to be record time. I've only got 10 today because she printed 20 for this talk and another talk. So, uh, at any time. So, that was really awesome. So, just to recap, um, you've got, uh, so could you stand up and do mine? Just look at her eyebrows. Uh, she's got the little TP here, right? Can you see this over here? Oh, sorry, there. <laughs> That's creativity. So, when you see someone with the TP and you're working with them, so if I was to work with her on, on anything, uh, I would allow her to get involved in So how should we do this and get creative and get part of the process and own it uh, because she's got that creative thing. Yeah. Do you think you're creative? Yeah, there we go. Right, so I'm going to test all of you now to see how you've been concentrating. We're going to look for the obvious one. So if, based on what I've given you already today, what did you say about this dude? Close eyes, very focused. Yes, so uh, close eyes, focused. Dreaming. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Later. Oh, oh, yes. I think this one up is the hair. That may be gel. So even if you run your fingers through it, it may be not, it may not be coarse, right? But look at the ears. It's going to be quite, quite assertive, quite dominant. So if you've got very oh, flat sure. ears. Prince Charles. Yeah. <laughs> when you see, see President okay. Obama as well. President Obama. Yeah. Yeah, and that he's got uh, low eyebrows, so very informal. He's got the long filter. We didn't do filter today. And uh, the filter is this piece over here. That's yes. So, and that's around sense of humor. I also love that one. So when I'm dealing with someone and they've got a short filter, I hold. <laughs> yes, I hold back my my funny witty jokes because generally they're very. Would you mind standing up again? So who's she got the shorter filter? And who did I say? Yeah. Would you mind standing up? We did not say it's got an extra long filter on the video. So who's the longer? Who's hmm? B? B? Me. Me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Me. 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 Why don't you stand up again? And there, so you can see. So with her, they get that savannah dry stuff. When you do the witty things, <laughs> they laugh and they get it. Whereas maybe this nice lady over here, thank you, you can sit again. She, she may not get it. And then you say something that's funny and she doesn't get it. And then it's, you have that awkwardness. So, so no, you need to be, be careful, <laughs> need to be careful with, with the jokes, etc. Until you know someone quite well. And then, so you, your fault was also quite, quite short, I think. So, yeah. so quite formal, very, very dainty, and uh, not really overly into jokes. So, 
So do you if you are I'll be Yes, but I'm sure we could get it too, right? I'm sure that we could work around all of those. Because listen, we all have we all have issues, we're all difficult, we're all happy, we're all easy going, they're all coming back. These just show some of the problems and traits. Yeah? Right, what do you see here? Thick lips. He's got thick lips. Yes. Yes. Yeah, look at that generous, he's gonna be very generous with time, money, energy, kisses, hugs, snuggles. Whatever. I've got that personality. Mm. Quite laid back. Mm. Yeah, you yeah, know the eyebrows are quite low, so mm. you're quite informal, easy going. And quite a long fulcrum. Mm. Yeah. She's she hers, she's gonna be like very short, sweet. At least you will, see with her, you're gonna know exactly what she means. Whereas if it's too flowery and, and emotional, you're not always quite sure actually what's going on. But yes, absolutely that. And her hair looks quite fine as well. Yes, fine hair and fine, fine uh, ear rings. So you can be quite, quite dainty and careful. Gosh, before we open our mouth, there's a lot said about us. It's quite yep. scary. Yes. <laughs> yep. And the stuff I saw about you, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> you can do confession. Oh, no, I don't have that much time. <laughs> Ah, very interesting. Very good. Yes, uh, high eyebrows, so she's quite informal. Listen, she's she's beautiful as well. I always tell the guys, you've got to, you've got twenty seconds to make an impression here, yeah? otherwise you're, you're out of the, you would have to be very careful. Right. Fish. Yes. Oh. Yes. Very assertive. Famous. Swim. And yet informal. So we've got the lower eyebrows. But yeah, those ears are very necessary. Not so humorous. Now, if you look at the chin, I haven't given it to you, but it is in there. Uh, that chin is the loyal chin. So you've got the, the, the chin that sticks out a little bit forward, very, very loyal. If you've got the, the uh, square of chin, you're loyal to a force. Who was it? Was it you? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so you can see her, her chin's quite square. And I said to her, if you believe Zuma should fall, you would have been out there with the placards. And she said, yeah, come on. Okay, so, so, so she will die, she'll go down with the Titanic. She'll leave the, the Titanic just before the captain. They, or they'll go together. Oh, okay. So if someone's got a, a, a square chin, they are really, really dedicated to a cause. So that cause might be your children or your husband or your girlfriend or whatever, but you, you, you are very... Oh. And you see, can you just kiss that, right? Mm -hmm. So, how much time have we got? Mm -hmm. So, I'll rush through these. Yeah. Ten minutes, five minutes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is a round of call. I've done my best to get you all to laugh today, right? I did a presentation yesterday. There were four people who laughed and <coughs> joked and had <coughs> the greatest amount of fun and... Uh, Everybody signed up at the end. Okay. This is one of the most powerful states you can be in, especially with your partner, with your children, with your boss, with your customers. I always try my best to get laughter because from there, uh, if you're on your first date and you can get him laughing and you can get her laughing, you're halfway home. All right? Those, that, those are high states of rapport. That's uh, my, uh, what my wife and I look like 98% uh, of the time. <laughs> Ah, I've written some books, we all know that. So, uh, someone was speaking about, uh, about NLP. You can mirror and match to get into rapport. So these two ladies here actually are in rapport, have you heard that? Okay, okay. and you're, you're the opposite. You two are actually in rapport as well, even the opposite. Opposite. So, so you can actually, so, so if I was to be speaking to, to, to you now, what I would do is I would just cross, so not to make it too obvious, but I cross over there, and probably then hand over, and uh, I would just cross my legs like this, and uh, just physiologically and mentally, we automatically just feel better about each other. As opposed to if I was doing this, the okay, or okay, posing for a photograph. So uh, if you wanted to get it now, now if you want to know if someone's interested in you, right? In my day, we were, if you were at a party or something, you just look at your watch, and if they look at their watch as well, you really look forward. And then now we look at our phones, I forget. Yeah. <laughs> and then if they check your WhatsApp as well, then you're in the report. Then you can go and offer a girl or him a drink. Alright? 
you can also get someone into a course. So, so what I will do eventually here is I will do that and then reach out to you and then just move out. And if you followed me, which is mine, then I'm going to do the So, uh, so you can actually get people in and you and you just have to experience that well. So, um, here we go. These are <coughs> these are subtitled. You ain't getting no movie tonight, right? That is like there's no there, there's no nyaga nyaga happening there <laughs> in the east. <laughs> right? I'm getting to rapport with a, a mom. You tell her baby's cute. Is that you? Yeah. yeah. Oh. And then of course one of the most amazing moments in history. This is the epitome of rapport. Yeah. There you go. He came out to the number six on in the Springbok jersey. We all fell in love with him over again. Okay, it was just the most amazing, very, very, very clever man. Very, he knew how to get into a ball with everyone on the name. Yeah, we all love very him still. Clever. Yeah, very, very, very clever. From that to what we are today. <coughs> let's, not, let's not go there. <coughs> Although, I mean, we could joke, right? There. They both had the same effect on unifying people, just one positive. Because <laughs> we were all in rapport the other day and all uh, all wanting the same thing but for different reasons. But yeah, this is this is the epitome. I hope you don't mind a little a little tear if we can get one out of you today. This is this is the moment. Mm -hmm. This is how you want to be with your husband. Or well, with arms, ideally. Mm -hmm. Or with your customers mm -hmm. or with your children. No arms, no legs, no limits. That right there is just such a beautiful moment. He's a, he's a speaker. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I read it. He's achieved a lot. He's amazing. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Alright, so I'm going to stop there uh, just because of time. We won't go into visual, auditory, or kinesthetic at this point. Uh, people have modes either their visual, auditory, or feely. And if you know that, you can once again get into that mode with them. Um, I'm going to just take a risk here and then a little bit more. I do, I do talks uh, for couples around sex because sex is actually an important part of marriage. I, I assume you know that. Mm -hmm. Now, if you know that your partner is visual, okay, if you want the lights on and you want to check the six pack, right? Okay? <laughs> if he's auditory, he's going to want to hear when you're enjoying yourself, right? He's going to want you to go, oh, well, all right, let's not go there. <laughs> and if he's kinesthetic or feely, he's going to want you to tie him up and blindfold you so you can just feel what's going on there, right? So, and it's the same. Uh, sales and sex are actually quite alike. There's a bit of foreplay, getting in the report, you know, making that first move and getting the deal. And then, after sales service. <laughs> so, <laughs> so happy. <laughs> yeah. Right, so, ladies and gents, may, uh, may I suggest that in the next two to three months, you take out that expensive bottle of wine that you've been keeping for a special occasion and uh, serve it at dinner with your family. Because family is a special occasion. And bring out the expensive crockery and cutlery, even if Johnny breaks a plate or Mary bends a fork. Because I would break every plate in my house to have dinner with my parents tonight. And then wait for the next funeral to buy each other flowers and tell each other how much you Absolutely. Okay, yeah, we went to the top.